Okay, so I like to have two discs when I'm teaching a dog how to play disc and you want to get them excited for it. So what you're going to do is almost kind of like a tugging game and be like, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And when he gets it, that's great. You can let go. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, good boy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, good boy. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, good boy. And then once you've done a lot of that, because um, you want to have value for more than one disc, it can be really hard for some dogs. Um, one of my dogs, it took months for her to go from using multiple discs because she only favored one, even if they look the same. Um, then what I'll end up doing is, over here bud, sit. I'll put my dog off to the side and I'll give a release word, mine's break. Um, and then I will use a command to take a disc and that's just simply take and I'll present it so that they can see the rim and that's what they need to grab onto. I don't want the disc like this or, you know, like this, doesn't matter, just kind of a bit at an angle so it's a nice natural grab to the dog. And I'll say, take, good boy, break, take, yeah, good boy. Take, yes, good boy. And then the other thing that I'll do is I like to teach in a round, you don't have to do that. I just do an around so that it sets my dog up to go for a disc. Um, something that I recently learned in disc is that um, Ruger's pretty good at watching me, um, but if the dog goes around, Ruger around, and right when they come around here, if they're not looking at you, keep asking them to go around you before you throw the disc because you want them to actually have eye contact to the disc. If they're just running blind, they're probably not gonna catch the disc and they can hurt themselves. Um, so that was a big thing that I learned just this past year um, for Kona and Callie because they like to go around and just start running. They won't pay attention to me or the disc or where I'm about to throw. Um, before, like, if your dog is young, um, like when I started out with Ruger, I did rollers. So it's just a pointer finger on the rim of the disc, thumb on the outside, fingers on the inside, and then you just roll the disc and your dog will go get the uh, disc. In a competition, the dog actually has to catch the disc in a roller. If it falls down and they catch it, that's no. Um, and then that's what I did while he was a puppy because I didn't want him jumping um, while he was still young. So now when I'm doing short throws, I, I, I won't do super long throws or high throws. You kind of want throws sort of in the middle. Um, I hold the disc the exact same way as a roller. Uh, and I'll send the dog around, Ruger, around, take, good boy. And um, I always say, I always try to remember to say take before I let go of the disc so the dog understands um, a cue for it. I don't want them kind of running blind for a disc. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'm using Hero Discs. Uh, these are the Extra 235 Freestyle. Um, these discs also come in a distance series. I like the freestyle series better than the distance series. They essentially are the exact same disc. The only thing different is the distance disc will have this tacky feel on it so that you have a better grip, but the grip will wear off really quickly. So these I find are just way better. They're nicer feel. Um, so yeah, these are the ones that I prefer is the extra 235 freestyle series by Hero Disc. Stay. Burger. Around. Take. Good boy. Oh, Kona. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Burger. Around. Take. Good boy.
shop around. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Good man. Okay. 